forced to live in homeless shelters, many families struggle with feelings of depression and hopelessness. But with the stroke of a brush and a little paint, a local artist is breathing new life into area shelters. Karen Murley is tonight's Harris's hero. On the pages of a children's novel, a 10-year-old boy finds an escape to magical kingdoms where dreams come true. One day I want to become an artist. Far from the tiny room he shares with his mother in a D.C. homeless shelter. He has sickle cell disease, so um, he's sick a lot. We've been going through a lot of hospitalizations and blood transfusions and things like that. Caring for her son cost James's mother her job and their home. First the hospital, then D.C. General, and then we ended up here. But here, at this Northwest shelter... This will be different colored greens. The drab, depressing hallways become backdrops for adventures in faraway lands. Well, this is a dragon. It's part of a castle scene. The saying that goes with it is you can grow up to be anything you want. Karen Murley and her assistant volunteer their time and their talents, painting murals on shelter walls and decorating apartments for families in transitional housing. I like to think that the families have a home to go to where they feel safe, where they feel comfortable, where they're happy. They make people feel good. And feel inspired. Murley's tree mural gives James an idea for his own mural. People gathering around a tree like this dead tree and they want to make it live again. It's wonderful, it's wonderful because to me children have such potential and if they can get any bit of encouragement in any way, I think that it's a, it's a great uh, achievement. It is a great achievement, putting smiles in the faces of those kinds of kids there. Karen Murley has painted and decorated about 40 apartments and several shelters as well in the area for the National Center for Children and Families. Allison. What a labor of love. That's a great story, Leon. Thank you.